The new FileMaker 17 feature called Master Detail Layout, or as I like to call it, Found Set Portals, allows you to merge Browse Mode and List View, offering a myriad of interface options. Now if you don't have FileMaker 17, you won't be using the space here and you can just make your window smaller or use it up for other stuff. You could put your document over here if you want instead of a small one here. A lot of options you can do, but if you don't have FileMaker 17, you won't be able to do this next feature here. So let's talk about how it used to be done. If we go into layout mode, and I'm going to create a temporary layout. We'll just call it delete. And that's going to be a list view. And what we would do with this list view is we'd make the header or the footer really big and put our data inside here. So we might put in our name, make sure we get a label on that, make that bigger, our description, and everything we want in there. I'm not going to put all the fields in there because it doesn't make sense. And we shrink it up to the size we wanted. And then we'd also put this information into our body part. So I'll insert a merge field in here. I'll use the name field. I'm not going to make it very sophisticated because you'll get the idea once I show you. And we can make this a little bit smaller. There we go. And then we'll go into browse mode. And you'll see that we can go ahead and get browse mode or form view and list view merged together because everything will show up in the header as I click on it. So that's pretty cool, and you can make the header as big as you want or the footer as big as you want. The downside of this is that you have to put it at the top or the bottom. You can't have it on the left or the right or in the middle or wherever you want. It's much better implementation with this new feature. So we'll go ahead and delete this layout. We'll go back to our original layout, and I'll get the portal tool. So portals aren't just for creating relationships anymore or showing data from a relationship. You can now choose, of course, your related table, your new add-on table, which we covered earlier, did some basics on that, but you can also choose the current table. Now, you don't get certain options such as sorting or filtering. You always have a scroll bar. Um, you can change uh, the active uh, or alternate row state and the active row state, uh, but basically you don't have very much control over it, but you don't need much. We'll click OK. I'll add in the name field here. That's all we'll need. And the first thing you want to notice is that it prevents access in browse mode to your field. That's probably a good idea once you see how it works. I'm going to go ahead and make it a little bit bigger. And then let's see if we can't make it fit right in here. There, there we go. And maybe add a 20th row here. Let's see what happens. That looks pretty good. It looks like it lines up pretty good. So we'll go back into browse mode, and you can see now that we have our list view right here. Now we have a fifth record, but it doesn't have anything entered into it, but we'll correct that. We'll say test, and you'll see that appear right in there. So here's the cool thing about it, is that now you have this list view, but you can also control what's in this found set portal. If I go into find mode, and I'm going to do it manually, and search for, let's say, F, only those items in the found set are going to show inside the found set portal. And as we walk through them, we're going to go ahead and see that it's going to change the highlight here. You can change it either way. You've got full control, and now you can put this found set portal over on the right side, at the top, in the middle, anywhere you want, and have complete control over it by doing finds. So in the next video, what we're going to show you how to do is change the found set based on scripted finds. So you don't have to go into find mode, you can just click a button and it'll change it for you.